Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to WordPress Nuggets, where we take a single WordPress topic and cover it in hopefully 10 minutes or less. Today, we're talking about reusable blocks. So let's go ahead and get started. I would begin by creating a new post. So let's add a new post from here from our dashboard. And since we're going to put all our blocks in this one place, we're going to go ahead and call this one reusable. Reusable. I hope I spelled that right. And then when I started doing this again, today's the, way, the best way that I know how to learn something is to copy something that's been done, learn how to do that, and then apply my own changes. So I ran across this block here, and I love this block. It's, it's very well done. And I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to duplicate this. We're going to duplicate it exactly. I would never use this block because this is someone else's block for a product I don't even, I'm not involved with. But I think it's a great model to use. So I first started playing with it. I said, how do I do that? So I came in here and said, you know what? That's got to be a cover. And I added a cover to it, and I made it blue. And I said, you know what? That's not bad. But I looked at the, at the um, what do you call this? The control, the settings for that cover. And I couldn't find anything to make the radiuses. And I really, really, I don't like sharp corners, and I really like the radiuses. So you know what? That didn't work out. So I had to remove that. And then I couldn't figure out, so I figured, you know what? I know how to make a, um, a header and a footer, and, and those things live in groups. So let's go ahead and let's try a group. So I go, you know, let's type in slash group, and we'll add the group in there. And now let's go ahead and let's, I have a group. Okay, fine, I'll worry about the color and the angles, but I'm looking over here. I can change the background color. I can play with the spacing and the dimensions inside, and I can put a border and the radius. That's exactly what I wanted. I come back over here and I said, well, wait a minute. What is all this? I have some words on this side. I have an image. How do I, how do I put all that in there? Can I use columns? Well, columns might work, but there's got to be... Let me double check. Oh, so I came in here. Let's add a block. I want to just browse all the blocks. As sure as anything, don't forget, if you put your cursor over a block and you don't know what it is, it tells you what it does. I came across this media and text where it puts media, could be an image, video something with some text right next to it and i went ahead and i added that now i've already gone ahead and in my media library since i'm copying this exactly i've gone ahead and i've got an, an image of this so i'm going to go ahead and go to my media library and insert that now don't forget i've already added my alt text and my title because you need to have that every single time and it's in there wonderful and I have some space for content. So now I'm looking at this and I notice that there's text here. This is separate text. It's a different size. It's probably even a different font. Maybe not. But it's a different size for sure. And then there's a button. All of those things line up. That's a clue. That's a really big clue. And okay, so I'm saying to myself, well, it can't be just one text block. It's got to be at least two paragraph blocks and a button. Let's go ahead and add those in there. So I'm going to come in here and go to always work in list view. And now in here, I'm going to add a paragraph block. So I've got a paragraph block and I'm going to add some content. Well, I'll tell you something. Since I'm copying this exactly for, for my lesson, I'm going to go ahead and just select that text, copy it, come back over here and paste it in there. Now, it doesn't look quite right yet, but give us time. It will. So again, I noticed that after that paragraph block, I have more text. So obviously that we have to come over here and after this paragraph, insert another paragraph. And again, for the sake of speed and for the sake of just the fact that we're learning how to do this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this. I'm going to insert that text right there. And now we have that text. Finally, the button. Well, the button, again, notice how already... This is lining up nice and neat and clean, which is just the way you want it. You don't want things jagged edges and stuff. Everything's got to be neat and clean and very professional looking. So after my paragraph, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a button. So after a paragraph, insert after. I'm going to go slash button and add a button. And now I've got my button. So the text of my button, if I re remember, it says click here for free cheat sheet. Again, this is learning experience. Click here for free cheat sheet. 
And believe it or not, we're almost done. So next, what I want to do is we need to format this and change things around. So number one, if you look at this one, the image is on the right-hand side. It's a lot smaller. So let's go ahead and see if we can fix that. So if I come over here and I pick the media text block, it has a button to toggle where the image is. So let's do that. Let's put that image on that right side. The next thing I want to do is there's a control here in the settings where I can control the size of that. And let's go ahead and make that smaller. It's, I don't know. For now, let's just keep it like that. Now, the next thing is these, this font was a lot bigger and it looked like it was bold. So I'm going to select all that text. I'm going to come to the text block settings that are here and I'm going to make that text bold. And in addition to that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on, wait a minute, sorry, here. And I'm in typography. Make sure, again, I have my, my text selected. I'm going to click the custom size. And I'm going to put a, spec, um, a size in there. Put the size of the pixels that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with, um, let's say, 10 pixels. Oh, that's too small. It's making it too small. So let's try 20. If I come over here now and add 20 pixels... 20 pixels may not be too bad. 20 pixels bold. Again, we want to work on the spacing and stuff, but that's something we'll work on a little bit later. For now, let's just get this thing going um, to look the way we want it to look. That font, I'm happy with that. This button, that button is okay, but we need to do something with that background, and you'll see why in a moment. Well, you know what? Let's not do anything with that button for now. So now I want to get two things. I need to get the color of the background, and I need to get the curve, the radius. So let's go ahead and let's go to the group. Let's make the background color blue. That's wonderful. I like that a lot. And then next, my text should be white. So I'm going to come to the text, which is, and make that text white. So now all my text is white. And again, I'm not totally happy with that font and the way it looks. But again, he's using a different font. When I'll worry about that later. Now, the next thing I have to format is my button. So I click my button, come here to the list view, select my button. And with button, now select it. There, the lower part, the actual button itself. Well, now I want to go ahead and change that background color. And I'm going to make that background color this, this mustard color. So it's a, it contrasts a little bit and it looks more like what he's doing. And I'm going to double check something over here. His font is white and bold, so I'm going to come over here and make the text white and bold, just like he did right over there. Text bold, like that. Um, and I'm not going to mess with the size right now. So finally, come back to the group, and I'm looking at this thing, and we have to do some fine-tuning here. Number one, I want to get the radius. So I'm going to scroll down where it says radius, and I'm going to put a number there. So that's the number of pixels for the radius. So I'm going to start with five, and five, not enough. So let's go ahead and try 15. And I look at 15. 15 is not bad. Let's take a look at 20. And I like 20. 20 is good. Finally, some spacing issues. Notice we have a lot of space on the top. It's really, really tight on the right side over here, tight in the bottom. Well, this is going to come in another lesson called the... Um, content border block model, I believe it's called. But basically what it shows you is, is that this is content inside of this block right here. So you've got content. And then believe it or not, this line right here is a border. Now it has a border of zero pixels. Now I'm going to add a border of like five pixels just so you can see what that border would look like. And I have to make that border black just so you can see it. So now that has a border of five pixels. But that border could be zero pixels. And just because it's zero doesn't mean it's not there. It, there's a border there. There's definitely something separating this from that. So now, what, this is your content. The space between the content and the border is called padding. So padding is what controls what's inside of this bordered area. In this case, that bordered area, that container block is a group. So if we come to padding... You can play with the padding. And if you just use this uh, guide here, this control pad, this scrubber here, it makes everything the same. But we don't really want that. I'm going to put it back on default. 
and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this link button or unlink. So this is going to open it up and allow us to control the padding for every single side, top, right, bottom, and left. I'm not sure if I do it backwards or not for the camera. But I know for sure that I need to fix this right side immediately. So I'm going to come over to the controls and set a size. And let's start with 20 pixels. And 20 pixels, again, I'm trying to get it even with this. And that's not enough. So let's go 30 pixels. And 30 pixels seems to be close. I can live with that. So now the next thing is the bottom. If I come over here, notice he has some space in the bottom. So if I come over here, I go to the bottom again, select my group, make sure my group is selected because that's where my padding is. And I go to bottom. And again, I'm going to try 30 pixels there. And 30 pixels may not be enough. I'm going to go 35. And I'm feeling 35. Now, again, I can come over here and I can adjust the size of this if I want to, make it smaller or larger, give me more room for my buttons. But at this point, I'm pretty happy with what I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, again, I had a lot of fun doing this. I got goosebumps. I'm, I'm charmed. I'm living a happy life here. But I don't want to do this every single time. So what I'm going to do is there's a way to save this, which is really, really great. I'm going to go ahead and click on the group. The group has three buttons on the side. Click on those three buttons. If you look down over here, it says create a reusable block. That means that this block of tech, everything inside that group will be saved and I can go ahead and add it wherever I want. So I'm going to go ahead and call it, since, this, since I'm never going to use this, I'm just going to call it sample usable block. And I always have a hard time spelling reusable. I hope I spelled it right. Save. Now that block is now cast in stone and I can use that wherever I want. Let me prove it to you. So if I'm in this view here, I'm going to insert something after that block. I'm going to hit in here. And then again, I'm in here. Boom. Sorry about that. Insert after. This Grammarly thing's in the way. And I'm going to insert something here. I'm going to browse all. Now, notice that when I browse all, I have blocks and patterns were always there. But I have a brand new third tab. That third tab are my reusable blocks. Now that I have it, now that I have a block, that tab comes up. And notice my tab is there. So now I can simply go ahead and click on that. And it's going to add everything I do. The good thing is, if I change this, it saves that change. The other thing is now, too, think about this. If I have a post page that has certain blocks on there, I can create all of those blocks and I can add those blocks to a post template. So now every time I create a post, it comes out. And then when I want to change that block, I can change the reusable block however I want to. And all of those changes will come out in all my posts. That's the beauty of full site editing. That's what makes this new WordPress um, Features so good. The fact that you can just change one thing and your whole site's updated and kept up to date. So now what's the next step for you? Easy. Make your own. Again, there's nothing wrong with taking someone's creation to learn how to do it, but we never want to use their creation. So now go ahead because you have your own offer. You have your own text. You have your own words. You have your own thoughts and feelings. You're going to go ahead now and create your own usable block and make it your own. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found any value in this, feel free to subscribe and check the notification button. We will be posting these videos regularly. And again, thank you for watching.